Right now, if you want to play golf with a premium golf ball from one of the major manufacturers, you're going to be paying in the region about three to four pound per golf ball. Now, in this video, I'm testing the golf ball, which is three piece, it's urethane, and it only costs one pound per golf ball. It's from Costco, and it's the Kirkland Signature V2. So you might have seen in my recent video when I nipped down to Costco to buy the Cobra package set, I also saw these new Kirkland Signature golf balls. So I had to pick up a box. Now in a box, you actually get two dozen. And I get asked loads across social media about testing these Kirkland golf balls, certainly the brand new version. So in this video, I'm gonna test the golf balls on the putting green, see how they feel around the greens. I'm also gonna see what they are like for durability, because in the past, Kirkland Signature balls haven't been great. I'm also gonna test them on fuller shots and eventually the driver. And guess what? I've got a pair of new ball cutters. And we're gonna cut some of them open, not just one. I'm gonna cut a bunch of them open to see how consistent the core of the golf balls are. After all of that testing, we're gonna find out whether this one pound golf ball from Costco is worth using over your Pro V1s, your TP5s, your more expensive golf balls. So let's talk about the box first. Uh, it looks a little bit more basic than your premium models if you're going for a Pro V1 or a TP5. There's a little bit of information, but not loads. Three pieces I've mentioned, core, soft and high elastic core to maximize distance. Mantle interacts with soft cover to generate optimized spin for iron and wedge shots. And cover, durable. It's a word I'm definitely gonna test in this video. Urethane cover for spin and green side control. As I mentioned, the box looks pretty basic, but we don't really care about the box, do we? We care about the golf ball. And the golf ball itself <laughs> looks nice. Well, it sounds like a daft thing to say about a ball, but typically a premium golf ball has a certain finish to it. And this does have that premium finish. You have the Kirkland Signature logo, which is obviously synonymous with Costco. And on the side here, you've got actually a really nice alignment line that just says Performance Plus. Next thing, I'm gonna do a bite test, see how soft it is. <laughs> Beautiful flavor. Um, it, it's like a, a seven out of 10 softness, not super soft, but, it's all right, didn't break my teeth, that's a good sign. Pretty nice, like it off the putter face. If I was to give it a comparison, I would say feels more like a Pro V1 compared to a Pro V1X. So that little a fraction softer off the actual putter head. Go in for one, go in for one. Ah, oh, not quite. You know what? I could spend all day putting on the green with them and I wouldn't change my opinion on the feel. They feel really nice. Premium golf ball, urethane cover. On to the next test. Okay, next little test for this ball is some slightly longer chips and pitches. Just wanna see how they react around the green and how they feel off the wedge as well. Not bad. That one's not quick. They're pretty consistent for distance. Okay, so far so good. I've got a checklist here, what I want from a golf ball. So far, it's great with the putter, feels fantastic. Around the green, spins well, again, feels good. Tick, tick. However, we've got a few more tests. Next thing we're gonna do is iron play, hit some shots into a par three. But the big test comes at these last two. Durability and distance. They're two that really worried me about this golf ball. Let's hit some shots into here. See how they fly, see how consistent they are, and see how close to a hole in one we can get. Oh, cut a bit. Oh, that's better. That's got more of a chance. Nice. 
tiny, just a tiny bit left. Um, felt good off the face, it did. Flight was good, spun nice into the green. I've just got to be honest, I just didn't hit many that close. A little bit in between club there, but actual performance of the golf ball, I don't think I can fault there. Okay, so far it's past the putting, it's past the short game, it's done okay on the irons, even though I wasn't hitting it great today, granted. However, we're up to the two categories now. I think this ball might struggle. First one, driver. Let's see what this ball performs like when hitting the big stick. Now I normally, when I swing at about 110 miles per hour, I'm looking to try and get as close to 160 miles per hour ball speed as I can, if not over, and trying to carry the ball about 280 yards. There's our benchmarks. Because you've got to remember brands like Tightly, Shrixen, Bridgestone, TaylorMade, all of the major manufacturers spend absolute millions on R&D to help their golf ball fly as long and as straight as physically possible. However, it's not what Kirkland Signature should do. So this is kind of a more budget ball. So, is the performance still going to stack up to these big brands? And then talking about performance stacking up, I don't think it's going to be a concern for everybody watching this video, but I think it's something you need to be aware of. If you pay less price for a golf ball, does it not last as long? Like, is the durability terrible? We're going to test that next after the drivers. Okay, numbers with driver. Good, not record breaking. 278 carry on average, 156 miles per hour ball speed on average. Again, that's not record breaking, but it's decent. And I was averaging 110 miles per hour club head speed. The one thing I did notice, the spin of the golf ball is quite low. With driver, it was quite consistently under 2000 RPM. So overall, good performance. Next up, the new choppers. They chop four in half. You might say, why chop four? One, I'm making up for the time I didn't chop that Max 5 golf ball open. My bad. But also, I want to see what the consistency of the core looks like. Now, we have seen examples of even major golf ball brands not quite getting the core perfect every time. Example here. Now, why that would affect you as a golfer, if you've got a core that's off-centered, the ball flight may favor one side or the other, there'll be no consistency. Basically, the golf ball would not be performing at its highest level for you. So, with Kirkland Signatures, again, being a cheaper brand ball, did he cut some corners when it comes to actually centering the core of the golf ball? Let's find out. And this is a review of my new cutters. Very smooth, good action, quicker than normal. Okay, yellow, this is kind of the core, the blue section is the mantle. I'll have a closer inspection in a minute. Everything looks okay there. Let's cut a few more open and have a proper, proper look. Okay, so I've cut four golf balls in half. Now, I've looked really closely here. I've examined each and every one of the golf balls, and I've got to say, I see no imperfections. They all look pretty much perfect. So for me, I know it's only a small sample size, but that definitely passes quality control very nicely indeed. Okay, so I feel like I've tested these balls pretty well so far, <laughs> but there's one left in the box. Absolute grand spanker, never been hit yet. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit 10 shots with my lob wedge out of the bunker, and we're gonna see if there's damage, and if there is, how much damage. Now some of you watching might think, Rick, I lose the golf ball before I have an opportunity to scratch it. That's not really the point. You might just hit one a little bit thin out of a bunker and suddenly there's a big scratch in the face. Or you might hit a cart path or a buggy path and sometimes there's some real damage on the golf ball. It can affect performance, it really can. We want to do everything we can to not affect our ability to shoot good scores. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can spend a lot of money on golf balls, you really can. So the big brands like four quid a golf ball. But how has this Costco one pound golf ball fared today? As I mentioned, it's pretty much passed every category so far, it really has. 10 shots out of a bunker can often leave some real bad scratch marks in the golf ball. It's bloody brilliant. Like it's done an unbelievable job. 
I've tested a few Kirkland Signature balls so far, but none of them until this point has ticked every single category. Pretty impressive that. 